Shalom, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kar Kadash, and double honors to the Apostle of the Great Millstone. Shalom to the brothers out there pushing his words and sharing the truth. <clears throat> the title of this video is Think Like a God, Be Like a God. And this is, you know, going into how to conduct yourself um, around the two thirds and the heathens. Because, you know, we have to be, we're the light light of the world, so we have to, you know, c conduct ourselves accordingly. First scripture is 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Yeah, so, for example, the, which the devil is the so-called white man, Esau, the nation of Edom, he is the ultimate deceiver. So if you're, you know, not being circumspect and just going around, you know, abusing alcohol or just being quick to wrath, wanting to fight everyone and or not holding your tongue, holding your peace, then, you know, the devil's going to come and, 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 and take advantage of your weaknesses, you know. Um, um, you know, just hold your peace. If it be possible, be peaceful with all men. You know, be 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 uh, you know, wise as a serpent, harmless as as a dove. You know. <clears throat> Let me jump to Second Corinthians chapter chapter five. Verse 20, now then we are ambassadors for Yahweh Shai, as though Yahweh did beseech you by us, we pray you in Yahweh Shai's stead, be ye reconciled to Yahweh, you know, so we're ambassadors, we're ambassadors of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, we're representatives, we're the reps, so we rep Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, we have to walk in the same um spirit as Yahweh Shai when he was on the, on the scene. You know, suffer patiently, holding your tongue, you know, and just prophesying and cutting people with the word. You know. Um for he hath made him to be to uh, so I can for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, which is Yahweh Shai that we might be made the righteousness of Yahweh in him. So, it's like it. We're, we're righteous through Yahweh Shai, through his blood, through his bloodshed. He was the ultimate sacrifice. So, if you're in this truth, you got to always think, who did this? Who, who opened the door for us to be in this truth? Who opened the seals thereof? Which is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the light of the of the of the, of the um, scriptures. Who's in the who is the volume of the book? This whole book ultimately is for the law, statutes, statutes and commandments. But Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book. He's throughout the whole throughout the scriptures, Old Testament and New. You know, jump to Romans chapter eight. Verse 16. Yeah. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. And if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So the, the Lord said, this is a light affliction. How shall I suffer? We're suffering. But at the end, guess what? That we may, just like it, that we may be also glorified together. So if it's like the old saying, um, you know, if you go through the trenches together, you know,
know, that's 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 your brother. And, and, and I'm trying to remember the, the, the real saying, but like, basically, you know, you're going to ride or die for the ones that suffered with you. You know, it's easy to, okay, yeah, when, when, when you're winning, when you got money, family and friends is all around, but as soon as you fall off, no one's, no one's around, no one's in your corner, like, like, um, MC Hammer, for instance, he was hiring his own, he was hiring his own people, friends, family, everything, and as soon as he goes bankrupt, no one's in his corner, you know, we jump to, um, Second Tim Timothy uh, chapter t two verse three, though therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Hamashiach Yahushua. So we're supposed to endure hardness. We're, this truth is basically boot camp for the real the real uh, war. In other words, you know when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Lord's gonna lift up a standard against thee. Against Esau and his troops and his technology, you know, that's us, the elect, Lord willing, that's pushing his words in and week in and week out on the highways and byways on the YouTube, uh, talking to people sometimes, you know, people watch the videos. This is a small world. YouTube is, an internet makes the world even smaller. It's with social media and whatnot. YouTube is considered social media and we're on camera. So then... Again, you conduct yourself accordingly on camera and off camera, at camp and off, at, not at camp, at home, I mean, you know, and applying the scriptures. Yep. Yep. And, you know, this is a bonus scripture because, you know, we're supposed to be um, re rehearsing, um, you know, the, the righteous acts and... And this is the answer, because I, I always think about this. What is perfect in this world? You know, of course, besides the, the, the Bible. But what, what is really, what is the most perfect thing in the world that Yahweh, Yahweh Shai has set up to be perfect in this world? Which is like a trick question. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. Something that we're supposed to be following as much as possible and applying to our lives daily. The fear of the Lord, the fear, oh, it's like it. Verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making the wise the simple. You know, this truth trumps anything and everything. This, the law, statutes, and commandments trumps anything and everything. And all the PhDs, all the, the doctorates, all the philosophies of Esau that got our people, and especially the women, in the trick bag. You know, if you not if you don't know the scriptures, you don't know shit. So, in the title of the video is "Think Like a God, Be Like a God." When you in these scriptures, guess what? You're thinking like a God, and you're gonna walk like a God as the Lord builds you up and exalts you. You know, the Lord says He's gonna give us fame in the land that we're put to shame. And the so-called black men in America and the other countries, but mostly here in America, is looked down upon as nothing. We're, 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 we're in the Constitution. We're still considered, I think, three fifths or two fifths of of a man. That's below a dog. Dogs get treated better than us. So, Lord, one of this video was edifying. It was straight to the point. Well, we don't have time to play games games with people. This is what it is. Thus saith the Lord. Either you get down or you lay down. Simple as that. So I'm going to give all praise to your how Bashim Haosha, Bashim Kakadash, and double honors to the apostles of the Great Millstone, pushing this word of sincerity and truth, week in and week out, due diligence for 30 plus years, and setting the, the, the standard for us young brothers and, and the elders above me to keep pushing and, and motivation. And shout out to the brothers out there um, on the four corners of the earth. Shout out.